Oh, shout out to the Indian restaurant. Uh, if you're in Chelmsford on the 27th, they've got a 15 course buffet. <laughs> they, they obviously invited us too because we managed to spend 200 quid between the uh, three of us. That wasn't on food, just on our fat, but it was mostly on alcohol. It was actually arting on alcohol. It was actually arting on alcohol, yeah. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We got Henman back on the channel. Another cheeky top. Well, a real deck this time. Real deck this time. Bit of a kitchen sink really, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah? Like, you can't really say much about it. It's actually... Oh, hang on a sec, sorry. It's just, yeah, this deck is actually insane. Uh, I played a lot of random cards, um, like one-offs and stuff, which I was testing out. Uh, I dropped Small World last minute because I didn't want to get absolutely battered by Lancia. And it seemed to work out alright. I had a lot of rogue matchups as well, which kind of helped because and a lot of people don't really know what they're doing against the deck yet. So, so you get free wins? Sometimes like that, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, well, before we get stuck into the profile, guys, this is Hemant of Jam Jam Cards UK. I forgot my t-shirt. Oh, he's not got the t-shirt on, sad. I'm doing Neo, Simon. Doing Neo. Tuck up, unless a certain duel list is there. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, if you want to get yourself some Yu Go singles, you want to get some money off, use code RUFIO15, link in the description. Save yourself some money, support the channel, support this man, support me, all good. Right, shall we get stuck into the profile? Yeah, let's go for it. Right, take us away when you're ready. Sure, so start off with the Rose Dragons, play three Red Rose Dragon and a Rock Rose. Um, this is self explanatory. It's super, super good to start with, super strong. Uh, if you uh, start with this, uh, like a Vashudo or a Griffin, and this, you can make a Baron and stop this getting negated and it surges this, which gets the spell, which is insane. Um, hand traps the deck, I'm playing three Ghost Ogres, uh, three Ash Blossoms. Two Phantasme, two Nibiru, two Bell, and then this will look a bit random, but it's one Lancia and one Vela. Okay. Um, I was playing Small World to start with, so this made a lot more sense because these were more stepping stones. Um, I took Small World out last minute for some other random cards um, that I just wanted to try because I didn't want to lose all the time to uh, small uh, to get into standby phase Lancia. Yeah. Um, I started playing this because a lot of people now are playing like how combo playing striker so i want to see the hand traps uh, and obviously i'm playing 60 cards so i was like if i see these um i'm not playing in permanence anymore so i was like i put this in also if this does stick on the board um it's good because it's level seven so once any of my tuners any of the rose dragons and you've got a hawk straight away mm -hmm. uh, or a baron so usually baron um it was also it's insane versus striker people start playing striker again yeah um people are also like even the sky striker deck is just scythe locking so sometimes you just need to be able to have that turn where you can apply some pressure and 2400 negating the, the target is pretty strong yeah so that's the hand traps that i played in the main and then like, i play three water enchantress and two uh griffin rider second griffin some people like to play one right uh yeah like to be fair this like this deck is very similar to what gabe's base deck is um i was playing something similar without knowing what gabe was actually playing um like because gabe didn't go to cardiff I played something very similar at Cardiff, except it was a lot less refined. I only played one Griffin. We were joking about playing two, um, and then I actually like, I saw Gabe was playing two, and I was like, it makes sense. Like, so I just took the second one, and I never missed. Like having two is great. Sometimes just using it as an extender rather than having to use it as part of the Brave Engine is, is insane. Yep. So it was pretty good. Um, three Magician Souls and two Illusion of Chaos. Uh, this card's actually nuts. Uh, you do play some bricks in the deck. So if you draw this and a brick, you can activate this, uh, reveal this, add this, and then you can put the brick back on top. And because you have a second one, so that's why you have to play two. Um, you can play one, a lot of the Prank Kids decks or the decks that uh, play more, less cards uh, can get away with playing one, but I prefer two. Uh, you can also add it off of Herald once, you're Herald once you tribute to negate something, which is always strong. Um, this card is actually insane with the Brave Engine, it's literally just a pot of greed, yep. which we love. Uh, the only 10 unit deck is just free with Shooter, it's a level 7 starter, 
Uh, it does come up sometimes where you make the brave token and you just banish it, uh, and they don't expect it from hand, so you just make the brave token, banish this, and they're like, oh, okay, and then you remove a threat and carry on. So that's yep. insane. Um, then the one ofs, obviously, if they dash or celestial, uh, they feature themselves. You can't really play anything else. Uh, Rick, Coltwing. How was this? Because you were a bit unsure about this, weren't you? Uh, it was actually really good. Um, I didn't. I only drew it one game, uh, which didn't actually matter because. I just did the combo the different way around, where I didn't use the uh, Aurodon, I used the Red Rose Dragon, so this didn't actually matter, I just, uh, so it was, it was okay, like, I probably was, I, do, I definitely would keep it in the deck, it's insane doing the Cupid pitch, uh, Despot, the same, uh, then, like the card, this card should be banned, it's yeah. stupid, uh, like literally just won me so many games, and Snow, uh, she is, yeah, she is. insane, and the last card I played was uh, Galactic Spiral Dragon, Yeah. Um, I played something in the extra deck which makes this kind of good, um, I just wanted to have an extra layer of extenders, um, I don't know if I play it again, uh, it was okay, uh, I would probably play Cool by the Grave instead, just because the amount of people are playing hand traps. But also, I play a lot of cards for that as well. So, I might drop this on the extra card, but it was okay. I only resolved it once in a match I was already winning, so I don't know if it, if it was that great. Um, it's nice if you mill it off of Chaos Ruler, and then you're like, okay, that's fine, it's free, free summon. Uh, even to like, link off or even to make the guy in the X yeah, deck, yeah. but I'll show that after. Uh, onto the spells. Uh, free, this card's actually is ridiculous. Yep. Um, like, this Brave Engine is insane, and I played two Fateful's. Uh, the second one comes up all the time. You um, Sometimes you just, if you don't have this, you just want to play this to be able to normal summon uh, or synch synchro summon and be able to chain block uh, so you're like, uh, how can't get ashed. So it's pretty insane. Um, also, it plays around Droll because you can equip it directly to the token. Uh, I was playing punk cards before, but I just dropped them before the event as well. Uh, free Teddy's. Uh, this card's insane. Ghost Logos is a nice card to get in during your opponent's turn, and also it's an extender for to start your turns, mm -hmm. which is insane. Uh, three droplets. Yeah, have to. It's kind of mandatory, really. Um, I wasn't playing it before, but. I just think you, you have to now. You kind of have to now. Uh, the amount of times that like someone will just go first, make a massive board, and you just can't deal with it if you don't have this. Uh, this is just sometimes just deals games. And then last minute change for our guys. We play three TTs. Um, this card's nuts. Like the amount of times that I would just get hand trapped on Hulk, and then I would t talents take uh, look at their hand, take away the card, and then because I'm playing both Shooting Riser and TG Wonder Magician, um, it was just it was so good. Uh, the amount of times, literally, like, I got hand trapped and then just did this and that stopped them. Yeah. So good. Uh, I got all, I stole a fusion destiny back into the deck. Uh, a droplet. So <laughs> it's also nice as well sometimes because you do want to be able to draw extra cards and extend. I never actually used the draw cards effect. It was always to look at a hand to try and sort of disrupt them further. Yeah. Um, I also did want to play Levi uh, near in the deck, um, but I couldn't find space at the last minute. May drop the. Um, the spiral for it and then play one chaos space um, but that's going like i've got a bit off the beaten track with that but i'm going to try it out i think but yeah this card's insane making putting them further behind when they're already behind in such a mad combo deck is they um and i play two fusion destiny uh, ignore the other old yeah someone's gonna get it for it's me. coming it's coming it's coming it's so so sad but i couldn't not put it in so uh, yeah this card's just dp is insane yeah uh, drake it back Check it back. Uh, Basil shoot for the uh, Rose Dragons. Foolish Burial. I played Monster Reborn. Um, it's just a good extender. Everyone's playing Hand Traps. So if you get Hand Trap, you can just Reborn, take the guy, make Verte, or make Hauk if you haven't made Hauk first. That's mm -hmm. also good. And then this, uh, this just literally just adds the Illusion Magician. Um, it's just an extra copy, right? It's just an extra copy. So sometimes you want to see this rather than Souls. And if you do see this and Souls, you can just send it to draw cards, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And literally the last card I played was on Sanctum. Um, I wanted to have an extra copy of Scythe, but I was like, I want to, if I draw, two, I don't want to see Scythe. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. in my opening hand, but I don't like seeing this because then I can send Snow or Shooting Riser rather than sending Scythe. Or not have to make Dagda. And obviously they don't see it coming because don't, you don't set up scythe. They set you set this. They think, oh, okay, that's the scythe. So they shoot it with a cosmic, and you just chain it, and then you win. So which, that definitely happened. Yep. So that's insane. Uh, extra deck. I am playing Fabrics. Times two. Uh, just two. Yeah, two. Um, 
There was one before, but this card is insane, and this card always get hand trapped. Um, so I was like, if I make the first one, I can always uh, go during my turn into this or this, and then I have a second one for the follow up. Uh, this card is great if you open Scythe, obviously, uh, or with the Dagda, because you can make this Dagda, make this, pop Scythe, make Baron in their turn, or sometimes it's literally just uh, banish this to make this to MST Faithful. Uh, that happened so many times, which just kept me in the game. Uh, Vert ADP, these two are super standard. Uh, Savage, part of the Gnaw, it, it comes up sometimes as a negate, but you kind of have to play it. Uh, Baron, like this card's insane. Uh, Chaos Ruler, you make it in the normal combo. Um, million five, adding a hand trap usually, if you're getting like a Ghost Ogre. Uh, or a Lancia, or... Who knew the card's pretty good? Yeah, the card's insane. Plus, you can just shoot it off of the uh, Aurora Don, which is here, to, uh, with the token, to summon the Cold Weekend deck. And then you can summon this back, and then during their turn, you can uh, you can uh, use the Shooting Riser, and the uh, Chaos Roller, usually, to go into Satellite Warrior. Uh, I never made it once. I didn't need to. I was already too far ahead. I might drop this. It was kind of a lackluster, really. Uh, never made it, so it wasn't that great. Dagdar, this card's nuts. Herald, you make it the combo. Um, I was playing, and to keep your pitch, I was playing um, Creation Resonator, but I took it out last minute again because I was just like, it's so many, it's, it's another brick. I probably would put it back in if, uh, if I was going to play with the same deck again, which I am, so I'm probably going to put it back in. And the last card, uh, the reason I played Galactic Spiral Dragon was the Zombie Vampire. Yeah. Uh, so it's two. Two or more of eight monsters, you can mill, uh, detach your material, mill the top four cards of your deck and your opponent's deck, um, and then choose a monster above uh, amongst either the cards you mill and special summon it. Uh, obviously, sometimes it's great because you just get all your extenders, and sometimes you can steal a monster off them. Uh, it also can be targeted by monsters that are not some less from the graveyard, so that comes up occasionally. Um, but yeah, it was okay. Uh, the one time I actually summoned it was I gave him a graveyard for 10 years. <laughs> um, I was sort of like, I, luckily Scythe got me out of that. But, but it basically just becomes a bit like another Chaos Room, right? Uh, yeah, so it's like, so you're basically milling 9, which is not is great for snow. Um, do I, would I play it again? I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, the only game I summoned it was with the same with Spiral, um, was when a game I was already winning. So it's like, do I need it? It's probably a bit unnecessary. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely an interesting card. Uh, that's the extra deck. Side deck, uh, never used these. Absolutely irrelevant. Should not be in my deck. Um, it's just, it's, I, I thought that, you know, this was great against prank kids and, you know, I'd play it, but I wouldn't put it again. This card, never put it in once. Never never even considered putting it in. Um, played against Sky Strike and I was like, oh, maybe I can put it in for Ray and DP, but I was like, you know what, that's so few and far between. So uh, I wouldn't play them. Uh, I would definitely play Token Collectors. I never played that card. Uh, I played Triple Cosmic. Uh, this was the same. It's insane. You need to play it. Uh, I don't know if you need to play it because what? you have like this, there's a lot of like you have Bell, you have Droplet. Um, like I said, yeah, I, would probably, I suppose in this deck you've got a lot more. I would probably try Cool by. So I don't think it's necessary. It's a hundred percent necessary, but I do like the spot removal. I do like being able to hit Pando and taking it out of the game in the standby phase. Uh, I do like to be able to hit Fateful, you know, so it is probably a card which I'll stay in. Uh, it wouldn't be in my deck if I'm not playing Mystic Mind. Uh, I'm playing a combo deck, and Mystic Mind's insane in the combo deck, really. Um, if you're playing into a board, it either just eats in the gate. Uh, sometimes it just gives you time to sit. I uh, had a couple of games where I sort of activated Mystic Mind, waited for sort of like three or four turns, dropped it in, sent it to Mystic Mind, then I played by turn out and I just OTKed them in one. Uh, so I probably wouldn't change this. It's uh, really, it's really good. Uh, another card of my choice, which uh, is two alpha. Yeah. Um, this card, I wanted some cards in my deck that were good at going second into Scythe uh, if I can't stop them. And I was, and this actually happened against Sky Striker. So I opened. The, uh, so I won game one because I went first. Uh, game two, um, he opens uh, Make Shizuku and set three back row and I was like okay then he sives me and I don't have a response for it but I was like cool special this bounce to the Shizuku uh, he made it with Rose so he can't summon Ray back um, and then so the Scythe's blocking the main monster zone and then I was like the Shuda special this brave token this and I was like have a full board of guys and it's just like oh 
and just being 3k is absolutely massive yeah. um, so just be 3k and also if you're playing against pranks uh, it's actually kind of insane because you can just drop it attack over the griffin and like you just get you have to force them to pandemonium there uh, the last card which again I don't know if I'll play again, but what's actually kind of funny is uh, Free Witch's Strike. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so, like, a lot of people don't really... I'm not, never going to play around this. So the amount of times that, like, if you get stopped, um, you can just set it, and then you try to do something their turn, and they just... Because they think they're so far ahead, they just bar in the gate for no reason, and then you just go, cool, Witch's Strike. And then it's like, oh... I lose everything. Or if you're playing against uh, prank kids, you know, a lot of the times you'll you won't be able to make like a massive push into their board. So you'll probably like set this and maybe you can set this or any if you like your you know, if you're setting droplets or you know, even at E Telly sometimes because like this definitely happened, um where I just activated this to try and get a monster on board, they're like, oh, you're on the gate. It's like, okay, cool, you're dead. Uh, get rid of everything. Uh, and against a, another guy, I normal summoned my snow to try and book down his baron. Uh, he negated. I was just struck, and he lost the game. So that was fantastic. Uh, I don't, again, it's also very good against like back row decks and uh, like anti meta rubbish. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if I'll play it again, but it definitely was. Cool novelty. Oh yeah, definitely a cool novelty for the weekend. Um, but yeah, this would definitely be uh, three token collectors. Um, I don't know what this would be, but this would definitely be token collector. That's the card I miss the most. Uh, everyone's playing brave. If you're not playing brave, then you're just playing. Probably not a great deck. Most you, of the time. you send you. I don't know, a deck that can't play brave, unless you're Artin, then you can play you send you brave because you know. Because <laughs> because he, he is the spice chef, only he can make it work. But uh, yeah, no, that's the deck. deck deck's pretty insane. Uh, so I'm just not put this on the top. Let's put the uh, best card in the deck on top. But. Got to get it looking nice, right? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, hang on. Let's put the fusion desk in there as well, then. Right, let's just do that, because that looks nice. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, the one-off. Let's just... Uh... Okay, well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I really appreciate it. Congratulations, of course, on the top. Thanks. Uh, yeah, tiebreakers, so we finished fifth. Didn't get the nice little pink box, but that's all right. Uh, Still got that nice play mat, though. Yeah, nice play mat. On its way to Japan now, as we speak. As, Sweet. As they, as they do. As always happens. Yeah, Swift did yeah. sick them straight on the post. Shout out Kento. Yeah. He loves the game. He's your boy. Yeah, always takes my mats. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I would ask you about changes, but I think we covered that quite nicely anyway, so I think we're good. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, yeah, so shout out to the team. Uh, shout out to Artin for getting drunk on Saturday night. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it just it made the trip funny. Poli, who we, we drove with. Uh, yeah, all the team, uh, like Jam, Joe, uh, Manuscrew for letting us test here when we want to want to and keeping him late on a Tuesday night when we just want to chat rubbish all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. And then, yeah, that's it really. Like, uh, oh, shout out to the Indian restaurant. Uh, if you're in Chelmsford on the 27th, they got a 15 course buffet. <laughs> they, they obviously invited us too because we managed to spend 200 quid between the uh, three of us. That wasn't on food, just I know I'm fat, but it was <laughs> mostly on alcohol. It was actually Artin. It was actually arting on alcohol, yes. If you, uh, Arnie. Arnie. That's what my son says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arnie, the homeless man. But he's had a trim now, so it's all good. <laughs> all right, well, thanks again for taking the time to do the profile. I really so appreciate good, it. Man. Guys, if you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.